Okay, girls, we're going to uh, do a little uh, task on sampling in GarageBand. So I'll click on GarageBand here, and we're going to create a new song. And we're going to go to tracks. Not This is live loops. We don't want that one. We want tracks. And you need to move to the microphone. And then we're going to um, click on voice. Okay, so... Um, the first thing you're going to do is record a sound, right? Eventually we'd like you to record three different sounds, but I'm just going to start off with my jacket. So I'm going to press record. This will be the introduction and then I'm just going to... So that was me rubbing my jacket. Let's have a listen. Gonna... Great, that's the sound I like. So we move from here and we go to the tracks. Okay, and you'll see it highlighted there. I'll just rewind it again. And let's just have it Great. Now, what's really good about um, this is we can put some effects on it. So if we go to the FX button up the top here, and this, this rectangular box comes up down the bottom, and there's lots of different things that we can do here. Let's start with the uh, middle pad of it. And we've got what looks like um, the very first one. I'll press play. This one. That is a reverse sound. Okay. And if I rewind it again, the middle one is a scratch sound. So I'll press play. Right. And that last one is uh, called tape, which is stop. Where it stops it and it goes stop it okay so there's some effects you can do all right and play around with um, some other things you can do on the uh, left hand side is something called a gator and you can see how it's kind of like got a um, it's an audio image but it's um, it goes up and it comes down it goes up and comes down uh, sorry audio it's a audio signal image and um, what that does it kind of like um, it kind of like it's called a gator. It, it cuts out some of the sounds in, in this signal that we're getting. So if we just play, and it gets that choppy sound because it's cutting out some of the s signals. The one on the other side is called a down sampler. And what that does is it kind of like uh, squashes the audio signal into that, that little shape there. It's like a side on S shape. And. Uh, <laughs> And what that does, it, it changes the shape of the signal again, so it only picks up some of the, um, of the audio signal, signal changing the sound, all right? So we've got all of those. Some other things we can use. On the left and the right-hand side um, are the same. Um, it's called a filter where you have different effects, and these are traditional effects. So if I turn this on, this filter here, You've got filter, repeater, wobble, reverb, orbit, delay, and they all change the sound too. So let's, let's start off with the first one, filter. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, and for it to work, you've got to press on here to make it purple and it works. Okay, let's try another one. So if we go repeater, and again, we've got to turn it on, on the, by clicking that left button. Can you hear it now? Okay. Here's another one you can do. Um, if I go back, uh, here is a wobble sound. Do that again. Wobble sound. Um, another sound. Uh, let's try orbit one. We're going to turn it on. Okay, so you, you get all those different sounds. So what you can do is you can actually come up with a combination that you like. And then I might put this tape stick or the scratch with it. Okay, it's up to you. The other side is the same. So you might want to put two effects on. So on, on the right-hand side here, um, you might, you've got orbit there, and you might want a repeater as well. You need to, you've got to turn it on. So then they'll both, they'll both work. The repeater and the orbiter. Anyway, you come up with the sound effect that you want. 
okay? You have a little play, and then what you do is, um, then you're gonna record it against your uh, little sound source. So what I'll do is I'll press the record button, get a four bar count introduction. Okay, so they're the sounds I've come up with, and it records the effects of it. Okay, so you can uh, change the, uh, the sound quite easily, and that's what sampling is. You, you hear a lot of artists use it in their song where they might take a laugh, or the sound of um, someone crossing the road. And there's the bell. Oh, the bell, you could take the sound of the bell, and then you can manip manipulate the sound, okay? So what we'd like you to do is come up with three sounds three different sounds, and then we want you to arrange them in different parts of the song. So I'll, I'll show you an example of one that I've done. So if I'll go back, oops, go back here to here. Uh, this is the one I did before. So I've got um, two, two sounds here. I've got a, a um, that is my jacket sound. And um, this one down here, you'll hear is the uh, cymbal sound that I've used. And I've manipulated them. You can see the purple effects down here. And then I've added a drum beat to it. And then I'm going to be adding a bass beat to it, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So let me show you what I've got so far. This is the sound. That's my jacket. This is the cymbal. And then we want you to come up with another one, a third one. Then I added the drum beat, and then the last thing I would like to do is add a bass beat. So I'll show you how you do it. You go up to this symbol up here. This is the loop symbol, and you can they have the instruments at the top. I'll press bass. You can pick what type of bass you want, and then you find listen. Have a listen to what. Okay, so instruments. I think I'll do that one. Okay, so once you've picked it, okay, you can just drag it over like that and it'll fall in. Okay, sound good? You can even put effects on the drums and the bass if you like, but let's just stick to the sound and um, see how you go. And then we'll see if we can figure out what are the three sounds they're actually uh, using in there. And that's, that's a great example of sampling. Have fun.